Hello everyone, Tush the Cat on the scene with something I wanted to make a one-off episode from the very beginning. Uh, this is going to be a very special episode where we talk about the story of Cafe and Anju, both of whom make for the probably most iconic side quest in the game, as well as the one that you have to do the most. Um, four. So, I'm going to start this off with my daily routine that usually I just kind of skip over. Um, but I wanted to give some context uh, that I found out dur uh, by reading the manga of the Majora's Mask, uh, of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask manga, which uh, Shigeru Miyamoto himself approved and actually gave a little bit of backstory to how the whole mission with Cafe started in the first place. For your hard work. Thank you. I appreciate, but heck. So... I'm also going to use a chunk of this episode to fill my bank up as much as possible, because I think there is a piece of heart when you get, like, 5,000 rupees. Which is going to take a few trips. Um... But the... The, the lowdown of it is, is, um, this was shortly after Skull Kid took the mask from the mask salesman and was like, oh, this mask is cool. Okay. Like, he didn't even know it had powers or anything yet. So this is weeks before Link even showed up. And... Cafe is at the milk bar. He's celebrating with his buddies that the girl of his dreams said yes, and he's about to get married. And he's having a good time drinking with his friends. And Skull Kid shows up, like outside. And the drunken cafe bumps into Skull Kid, and Skull Kid's like, Ow, why, why would you do that? That hurt. And then he's like, sorry, isn't it your bedtime, kid? And Skull Kid, being Skull Kid, was not very happy with this. So he looks over at him and is like, how come adults get to decide, like, what's fun and not? Like, like, like uh, you get to do fun stuff that I can't do just because I'm a kid? Well, what if you were a kid? Cool. And by thinking that way, Skull Kid actually turned Cafe into a child. Without even realizing that he could do that. So that was the beginning of like, what else can I do with this mask? So this was before the moon was even pulled close to Clock Town. And that's kind of why this little side quest got so much love, because it was like the beginning of everything. I'm bullying lizards. But also now I know the way to the land of the dead, and I can just kind of sneak in and out whenever I want, so... Why don't I go ahead and do my other money-making trick? Why? Why you head pat the cat again? There's... You're gonna make me go bald! <laughs> uh... And again, I could just fast forward time to make editing this easier on myself. But why would I do that when I can get other things accomplished? I like head patting. Why? I just want to hide my flower. Get out of here. Wee. 
Ugh, look, see? Effort! Like, they're not fighting back, so it's not a lot of effort, but I still have to swing my sword, like, ugh. But yeah, you're, yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> well, this, this, um, this does not look okay. At least as soon as that light touches them, it's like instant death. Frustration! But look at all this money! Like, judge me all you want for this, but look at all this money I can make. Ew, I have to fight this thing again. Enough dancers. Clearly, clearly not being good enough at dancing is worth the death penalty. Clearly. Your king demands it! Considering I, you know, killed the actual king, although technically I didn't do it. Yet. But I can do it. And I could. Just, just, just saying. Alright. And now comes the secret to unlimited free money! I- oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh, 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 oh no. Oh, I killed them all. Oops. See? Effortless. Sweet, because this technically gets to the dungeon. I genuinely wonder if this means that I can, like, fill the bank in a single three-day period. Because that's something I've actually never done before, is if I can actually, like, break the bank. Oh, and it's about 2 p.m., sweet. You need something? A deposit! Alright, so, how much, how much, how much? Yep, 3,000 rupees. Read them and weep. Now I'm going to turn into a Goron. And roll this way. Ow. <clears throat> Hello, fair madam. I'm here for my reservation. No! Yeah. I've delivered this arrow! Ah, uh, wait. Slatter, where did you... Yeah. From the postbox! That's not what I mean! From the postbox where? Yeah. From the postbox somewhere! Yeah. That's not what I mean! Um, when you two are done talking, can we talk about this creepy decor? Can we? Why? Why is this allowed? What? Please let me in! I beg of you! Let me in! Let me in! Welcome to the Slack Pad Inn. Um, did you have a reservation? Yes! You do have a reservation. That's good. Mr. Cheshi, is it? One moment, please. Mr. Cheshi, I have you down for an afternoon arrival. Your room is our knife chamber on the second floor. Here is your key. What? You're not sure why, but apparently you had a reservation. Please relax. Please relax and enjoy your stay. Eh. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. I got a free hundred rupees. Knife chamber, relax, Nani. Yeah, so there's another Goron that has the same name as you. Like, canonically, his name is Link Goro. Also, here. Since Madame Aroma was kind enough... Okay, so further into the cafe and Anju lore. Madame Aroma, seeing that you are the expert person finder that she hired, you're not. Uh, they never make it in time. Uh, decides to just give you a mask that looks like her son. 
Literally, here is my son's face. Wear it and see if anyone recognizes you. You're also looking for Cafe? I have a request. Cafe, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11.30. Please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. And now I have a room key here so I can just walk in and out anytime. Hopefully. Uh, deposit rupees. Please let me take- I wonder if they say anything then. Excuse me, but I can't take any more deposits. Sheesh, little guy, you're young, be sure. Serious about saving, I'm impressed. And I remember someone complaining about that side quest. They were like, why do you have to... Why do you have to put 5,000 rupees into the bank and spend 5,000 rupees to get one piece of heart? And I stopped and I looked at it and I was like, hold up, it's, it's, you're not spending 5,000 rupees to get a piece of heart. You're spending 5,000 rupees to get a piece of heart and 5,000 rupees. Like, you can access that 5,000 rupees again anytime. It's, it's a bank. Yeah, you, you get the money back. Waiting on hands, you do do do. Waiting on hands, you do do do. Because we told her we'd talk in the kitchen. Right, Angie? Alright, here we are. We're in the kitchen. We'll talk in the kitchen. We're in the kitchen! There. I'm sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him, Cafe. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person? But there's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. Please! Here's my letter. Put this in a post box. When it is, this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Andrew is waiting for him. And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I, I can't go. Interestingly enough, if you ch don't take the letter, um, <clears throat> she will take a break from the stockpot in to go and, like, she reads the letter from Cafe. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'll explain that in a minute. Um, she reads the letter from Cafe, and if you don't offer to go in her place... She will go as far as the bench in the laundromat area, and then she just turns around. She, she just sits at that bench all day and doesn't go in. She's too scared to actually go see Cafe herself. Your letter has been received. Ka-ching! It shall be delivered tomorrow! Ka-ching! Well, now I need it to be tomorrow, so what are the odds that Grandma's still awake? Remember the news are filled with Peninina? Peninini? Pananina? Panu? Pana? Pani? Pana? 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 Oh yeah, I have a key, so I should be able to just walk in and out any time. Why'd I take the hard way? Oh, she is still here. Will she tell me a story till morning? Oh, tortoise. Wait, here, what? Oh, Tortoise, you're late. Tomorrow's another early day, so good night. I'll read you a story tomorrow. Dang, nabbit! Fine. Well, I've overfilled my bank. Um, I want to go ahead and take this as a chance to look up some pieces, to find some pieces of heart.
I'm upset. Take me back to Clock Town. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> this is genuinely the difficult part, is remembering, like, which ones I've missed. Well, time to go deal with the child. I got all the pieces of heart for dealing with you and your friends. I got the frog choir, which was cute. Come on. Let me in. All right, and now we're on to the part of dealing with Cafe himself. Green hat, green clothes. Angie wrote about you in her letter. It seems you're looking for Cafe. Can you keep a secret? Angie trusted you. I shall also trust you. I am Cafe. Cafe we're looking for is an adult. When I see you, I just see a child. I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask. But I'm not hiding because I look this way. When I was turned into this, I went to see the great fairy in a shrine near the north gate. But on the way, my precious mask, a wedding ceremony mask, was stolen from me by some prancing man with a grinning face. Well, you're just careless. You're like my partner. Before my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I'd been turned into. Oh my. I pity you. I know Angie was worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I'd bring the wedding mask and greet her. This pendant. Give it to Angie. You accepted the pendant memories. Though you may not understand these grown-up matters, you should probably take the pendant to Anju anyway. Keep what we talked about a secret from everyone. Actually, I'm gonna put that into my slot right away. And I'm gonna get this in case if Grandma's still awake. What's this now? Can I read this? Is this anything? No? It's just like keeping a journal. It writes with a brush though, how elegant. Hello, Andrew. Oh, did you meet him? Ah, it's from Cafe. Thank you. Very much. I've decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. Also, 420 rupees. Let's go. Grandma, do you have a story? I'd love to hear one. Oh, tortoise, you're late. Tomorrow's another early day. Ah, okay. Doggone it. Oh, well. Alright. Now... What I can do is get the letter that goes to Cafe's mom right away. But instead, I get to deal with the most stressful part of this whole affair. Uh, here we go. Actually, I'll get the bunny hood right away. Feet don't stop me now. Whew. 
So, cafe. Woo! Every cent. Thank you very much, Reggie Wee. I appreciate you. Huh? Now instead we make our way all the way up here. And this will make sense in a few moments. Oop. So now we need it to be done on the third day where Cafe will have followed Sakon up here and have found him out. Somehow he gets past all the gates and stuff, and then again, so does Sakon. So... I found him, Green Hat Boy. He's using this place as his safe house for keeping his stolen goods. Apparently his name's Sakon. He came to the shop last night and I followed him. I just saved my cat from falling. Aww. His storage for things he's stolen is on the other side of the this rock door. Only Sakon can open it. The only way in is to wait for Sakon to arrive. I'll wait. I've made my promise to Andrew that he will show up. So here's the other thing. If... You, not only do you have to allow the old lady to get robbed, but, um... You have to not be seen by Sakon. So, like, if you were to run up here... Uh, on any of the mornings when Sakon is here, you actually risk the chance of losing this. So now we wait. Oh, but I hear him already. There he is, coming in from downtown. It's the one and only thief. Oh wait, we're supposed to be inconspicuous. The master thief, the master of all things stolen. It's second. <laughs> all right, let's do this. <clears throat> and there goes Cafe without even thinking. And now we have to do the same. Side note. Ah! Look! There's a mask there! Ah, oh, crap. We're supposed to be quiet. It's the sun's mask! So this section can actually break your N64 cartridge if you're not careful. Now I've done it! Step on that switch! What? Are you telling us what to do? It's some... It's some setup where the door stays open only while the switch is pressed! So whenever you step on the switches, it is coded that you get to control cafe. There should be some device in this room that also opens the door. The mask! He's trying to pull it out of our reach so he can make his escape. Gotta hurry! That's no good. This isn't the switch. Go check that room. There should be some sort of mechanism there. Please, there's no time! Yeah, this quest could actually break the N64 cartridge because it would be rapidly changing who the character is playing as. Oh, God! Ah! 
Shoot! Crud! Where even is the mask now? There's no way that it's already here. Okay. So I want this over here. This over here. So then it stays slowed down. And side note, my clock is gone. Unless in 64 was grand, NA could... See. Unless the N64 was grand, NA could handle Hey You Pikachu at its finest. Uh. And. Give me that heart. We did it! You got the sun's mask back! You helped Cafe. This was added to your notebook. So, side note, my clock is gone. There's still time. I must get back to town. N Yay! And here's another thing. This is the, this is the other thing that would crash it. Because no matter how quickly you do that quest... It's always going to be midnight. The countdown to the end of the world has begun. And now we get to do a very painful act. <sighs> I remember, I, I forget I remember, I will never forget the most stressful feeling I've ever had playing a Zelda game is this exact moment, because Cafe can't warp like I can. So, uh, I'm gonna just come in here. And hey, is this all the money that you guys saved up for your wedding? Yoink. Thanks, bye. Oh, and I stepped on your bedding with my muddy footprints. Uh, but yeah, like, there's the fact that the moon is going to come crashing down any second. Yes, that's stressful. There's the fact that everything here is ending in a paranoid fit. Yes, this is true. But, but, there is nothing in this game. I forgot to buy a ticket for day three, gosh! I'm upset. I forgot to buy a lottery ticket for day three. Yes, I am going to make a deposit. A big... No, not zero. A big fat 500. Take it or leave it. Break that account. Uh... I did a dum... Da dum 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 dum. So, now, we hurry up to Andrew's room, because we have to be here when this happens. I've decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. You know, the world's just coming to an end. The moon's gonna come crashing down. There's literally, literally nothing more ominous. I'm just gonna wait here on your table. The whole world is shaking. Everything's falling to pieces. And things are just going wrong. And it's just a big fat nightmare. Ugh. Hey! Uh, because now we have to wait. And every time that rumble happens, that's the moon getting closer.
Yep. We have to wait. Ugh. Come on, cafe, you've got three hours. I remember this freaking me out so much, and I would get so scared and just rewind time thinking cafe was too late. I did it at the three hour mark, and then I kept going until the two hour mark. The fact is, this is a man. This is a man. This is a man and a woman that love each other enough to face the end of the world together. So we have to be just as brave. Oh, you'll be able to hear the door open when he finally gets here. Uh, <laughs> this always freaks me out. Come on. Any minute now. <gasps> there he is. I think. Pit pat, pit pat, pit pat, pit pat. There he is. The Mask of the Moon and the Mask of the Sun. I've met you before. Reminder, Cafe is an adult. He's been turned into a child. You before. What a familiar scent. Long ago, we were still young. We made a promise, didn't we? The Masks of Sun and the Moon? We were to exchange them on the day of the Carnival of Time. Andrew, I'm sorry I was late. Welcome home. I like that they hug. <laughs> They're lovers, but they look just like a mother and child. Let us exchange the promised masks. We have exchanged our oaths and become a couple. You are our witnesses. Please accept this mask. Ah! Uh, you got the couple's masks. It's filled with their love. Please take refuge. We are fine here. We shall greet the morning together. Please take refuge, we're fine here. We'll greet the morning together. Not if I have anything to say about it. And now we are almost done. We just need to wait until 10 a.m. And then we can finally put the cafe and Andrew side quest to rest. So for the folks on YouTube, I'm not ending this episode just yet. We still have to see the fruits of our labor pay off. By doing what anyone would do. Reasonably waiting. Not there. 10 a.m. Let's do this. Now, as y'all recall, there's an argument happening in the mayor's office. So just to really drive it in, let's let the, hear that argument one more time. Huh? Most of the townsfolk are already, already taken shelter without the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor, the carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. 
Well. Oh, Cafe's father, by the way. You cowards! Do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused town folks simply are panicked by believing this ridiculous, groundless theory. Soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but the outside town, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be canceled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Uh, mm, well, are you serious, Muto? It seems a giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this very time, every year, we are overrun by tourists, so why is the town so empty? Clearly, it is your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it! Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this! If the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vinskin! The councilmen will stick to tradition! The carnival will be a success! I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town! Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Dotor? Uh, let's not bring my wife into this. Oh! Oh! Uh. Ah! Uh. The couple's mask? What a nice reminder. So a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? What? What did you just say? Yes, yes, everyone. We're all worried about our families. Why don't we end this meeting? But, Mr. Mayor! This will do. Whether you're stubborn and stay and guard your family, or if you prefer to run away and seek shelter, that is for the people to decide on their own. Mm. Thank you for allowing me to put an end to all that pointless bickering. Adults are so stubborn. It's shameful. Here is a token of my gratitude. You got a piece of heart! Well, I may be an unreliable mayor, but at least my family can depend on me. I want to protect my wife. In tedious meeting, this was added to your notebook. Huh. <sighs> well there, you should now be able to talk to the mayor, right? <laughs> I'm of the Goldman Troop. I have an appointment to meet with the madam today. Oh, really? That should be fine if you just go in. Yeah, and here they, like, find out that the whole thing is cancelled. Maybe I have to find out the reason why they were in I don't know. But there you go! Getting to that piece of heart is the whole... Point of this side quest. And of course, getting the couple's mask and a lot of other things out of it. So, for the folks on YouTube, I'll be seeing you guys at the doors of the Stone Temple. Until then, take care. Ta ta for now.